Hello and welcome, this is Matthias Müll for MamoWorld.com and in this After Effects tutorial about pins and boxes I want to show you a little trick how you can ensure that the boxes you create with pins and boxes don't shrink smaller than a certain minimum size that you want to have. So I have here a little example prepared where I have some text layer and I already created a box around it and as always with pins and boxes, I made this with the help of some pins. So let's quickly show those pins. You can see we've got one pin here in the top left corner and one in the bottom right. And they are attached to our text and create the area for this box. Now the one thing we want to change is that when we make this text very small, then the box should not be so small, but it should stay bigger with some customizable minimum size. So the idea here is to use some additional pins that span, so to speak, a minimum box. We want these pins to not be connected to any layer, so we make sure that no layer is selected, and then click on the Pins button. This creates just one little pin here, and this pin is not connected to any text, so you can move it around freely. Let's say our minimum box should go from here, and then I duplicate Command D this pin and move it here. Let's say from here to here should go our minimal box. Then I select both pins and also the box and click on plus to add those two pins to our box. Now at first sight nothing has changed, but if we now again replace our text here by a very small text, you can see that now the box is not as small as before, because the box is not just influenced by those two pins around our text, but also by those two pins that guarantee a certain minimal size. So we can adjust the position of those two pins however we want our minimum size to be. And now we can be sure that our box never is smaller than this area, and as soon as our text gets larger, it again grows as needed. Now let me show you a bit more complex second example for this, where I also show you where it makes sense to use even a parenting for those pins. So in this example from actually the promo video of Pins and Boxes, uh, part of the automatic layout here is that when I start making this text here shorter, that this entire top part moves down. And we want to ensure that this does not go below a certain minimum length. So this here really definitely looks not good. So we want to make sure that this line does not shrink below a certain length, even if this text here is shrinking below this length. Let me quickly explain you how this entire setup here is done. So the core of this entire layout is essentially this text here. And uh, this text is aligned to be always in the center and it has a box around it and then it has a pin at the top that we can see if we show the pins here. So here's our pin at the top and then to this pin this text here is parented. So when this text grows bigger then this text moves up with it. Now this text itself has two pins, one here and one here. And Around those two pins I've created a box which I then switched to be only a line at the bottom of this text. And this is exactly the line you can see here. So it's like a box around this text from which I only render the bottom line. And to this bottom line I again attached a new pin, which is this pin you can see at the very top, which I needed first of all to connect this little circle at the top of the line uh, and also to parent all these other texts here to it. So they all grow like with this or move up and down with this pin which denotes the end of this line. Now we want this line to not shrink below a certain size, so this means this line should not just consider the two pins of this text, so this pin and this pin here, but it should also consider an extra pin that we create right now. So we make sure no layer is selected and we click on pins to create an additional pin. Now we move this additional pin to the position of this pin here that forms our box, but a little bit lower, namely where like the shrinking of the box should stop. Let's say when this pin here arrives here, it should stop because this pin stays always in this position. So we select this pin and also select our line and click on plus to add this pin to this line. And now as a consequence, when we start making this text here shorter, the line shrinks, but it's not shrinking below this minimum size here because this additional pin now stops it from doing so. Now this has one little problem still left and this is if we change this text so that it gets bigger and this line moves up, this pin will not move with it. So let's go here to our modular systems text and add a second line. You can see that this pin did not move with it, so let's add a third line. And you can see that now the distance here is definitely not what we wanted it to be because we wanted to ensure it has a certain minimum distance. So what we therefore can do is we take this pin and parent it to this pin here, which always stays at the top of the modular system. 
So this is layer number one and the pin here at the bottom is layer number 23. So we take the pin and parent it to layer number 23. And now if we again try to enter your multiple lines, you can see that this pin moved with this pin and hence no matter how big it becomes, the minimum distance we want to have here is always achieved. So to sum up what you've learned, if you have no layers selected and click the pins button, you create pins that are not connected to any text and you can use them to ensure that certain lines or boxes have a minimum size. And you can even in complex layouts parent those pins to other pins or any other layers to make sure they move with your layout as needed. Again, this is Matthias for mamoworld.com and I'm looking forward to see you in the next tutorial.